Welcome to In This Corner TV. I'm James Smith from the top rank gym in Las Vegas. Saturday night on HBO from the Cosmopolitan. Very interesting welterweight matchup. One of the best fighters in the world, Timothy Bradley, coming off the loss to Pacquiao, takes on Diego Chavez, coming off a controversial disqualification loss to Brandon Rios at the Cosmopolitan. We caught up with both fighters who talk about Saturday night. Before we look forward, let's look back to the Pacquiao fight. Mentally, physically, fundamentally, what could you have done better? Could have boxed. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you? Uh, I kind of I kind of felt like I wasn't going to get a fair shot in any way going into the fight because of the, the first fight. So I felt like, hey, I might as well just go for it. Just try to go for the knockout because that's the only way I'm going to win. And, uh, you know, so that, that was the reason why I chose to fight that way. But uh, looking back at it, I, I should have just boxed. I should have just did my job, go out there and box, do what I do, stay in my lane, do the Bradley way. And, and early on you were. I mean, I had you, you know, you were doing fine early, and then it seems like you got out of that. I got injured, man. Yeah. I got injured. I, I don't want to, you know, blame it all on injury, but it's hard to suffer when you got a torn calf, man. You, I mean, you can't. It came much you can do, man. I did the most out of out of out of what I could do. I gave my body. I, well, I pushed as hard as I possibly could. Um, and Pacquiao was just one of those. He's tough, man. He's a tough guy. And a lot of people's like, man, you know, well, you know, he should fight Floyd. He should fight this guy. I'm like, he'll give anybody a tough night. Yeah. Anybody. Were there differences in him? You know, the second fight as compared to the first? Uh, yeah, he was more. He's more composed. Uh, he used to experience in the second fight. And uh, he was, I think he was shocked the fact that I stood there and fought him. So uh, I think that surprised him. But um, the fact that he had the staring power and the willpower to be able to, to continue that, 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 that at high pace, uh, that was the difference in the fight. You and Manny uh, have something in common with the, the problems with the legs and what have you. What are you doing to combat that or to make sure that those problems don't uh, come up again with your legs? Well, getting the proper work and uh, the therapy is, is the most important thing. And um, I've, I've seeked out, gotten, gotten help. Um, you know, and I actually found out a lot of inter interesting things about myself. I don't, I don't want to share with everybody, but, uh, you know, we just strengthen certain areas and things to, to, you know, counter, counter what's going on with the legs. There's always, uh, new wrinkles with, with you. I've got the new wrinkle, the beard. I'm looking pretty damn good, I think. But, Sweet, but, uh, what about wrinkles, new wrinkles in your game? Uh, you know, we worked on, we worked on a few new things, um, in training camp. Um, a lot of people probably see it in the fight, um. Just, just getting going back to the drawing board and just working on what got me to the top. That's pretty much it. I mean, you know, my IQ for the sport, my speed, uh, you know, my boxing ability. That's what it's all about. And uh, I went back to that. Experience, I think, will be the key for you on Saturday night. Chavez is a dangerous guy. He can box a little bit. He can punch, but he, he tends to lose some focus midway through fights. Your game plan Saturday night. Game plan Saturday night. Everybody's going to have to tune in and watch my game plan unfold in front of your eyes so I'm not gonna give away my game plan um you know Smitty I can do it all in there man I can brawl as long as I'm healthy as long as I'm not injured I can I can compete with anybody on the planet it don't matter who it is let's go back to your last fight at the Cosmo against the Rios you've had time to reflect on it tell us uh, about uh, the outcome of that fight what you felt happened no entré en el, en el juego de Brandon Rios que era el trabajo sucio y bueno me faltó experiencia pero ya creo que, que hemos recogido mucha experiencia después de la derrota ante Kate Turman y bueno, la pelea que, que nos robaron injustamente ante Brandon Ríos. Uh, Brandon Ríos uh, finally got Diego into his game and he got him in this dirty fight. But he had time enough to reflect about it. Uh, he has the experience against uh, Keith Truman. And uh, well, he's looking forward to, to fight uh, Brad, uh, Bradley on Saturday. You know, I've, I've kind of studied you for a couple of promoters who were interested in you in the past. And, and watching your style, you can do it all. You can box, you can punch, but are you still trying to define yourself as a fighter? Sí, creo que, que todas las peleas no son iguales y todos los rivales son distintos. Y cada pelea se estudia y se trabaja de, de forma distinta para, para cada peleador. Yes, uh, well, you know, every opponent is different. Every fight is different, and he studies and gets uh, ready for each fight, uh, not in a different way. I think the key for you in this fight is to go in with a game plan and stick with it, stay focused the entire 12 rounds. He thinks that the key of this fight is that 
te quedes con tu juego, estés concentrado para todos los 10 rounds y que no, no entres en el juego de él. No, eso lo venimos trabajando, de trabajar durante 10, 12 rounds, estar bien concentrados y sin entrar en el juego de, de nada, eh, trabajar limpio y bueno, que gane el mejor. Sí, yeah, you're right, and that's what he is getting ready to do. He will play fair. Uh, he will not get into Brandon Rios game. He will stay focused and that's what he's working on. What do you think of Bradley as a fighter and what do you got to do to win Saturday night? ¿Qué pensás de Bradley y bueno, cómo le pensás ganar? Es una pelea muy difícil, muy complicada frente a un rival que está entre los tres mejores del mundo atrás de Floyd Mayweather y Manny Pacquiao. Y, y tenemos con qué y con qué y por qué para ganarle y creo que que la clave va a ser en no dejarlo crecer y trabajar round tras round. You know that is a tough and complicated fight, but he's looking forward to, to do the best what he can do. And he knows that uh, Bradley is in the top three boxing uh, boxers, which are he's behind Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, but he will go for him. And look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen on Saturday night. Mirando la cámara, decirles qué es lo que va a pasar el, el sábado de la noche. La victoria de la joya Chávez se va para Argentina. La Joya Chávez victory will go back to Argentina. Just beyond Saturday night, you're, you've always been around on my top ten list. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel you're at, and what are, what are your goals? You're at that point where you've won world championship, you only lost one fight. What are your goals the rest of the way, other than a victory Saturday night over Chávez? Well, the, the first thing is a victory Saturday night. That's, that's a must. Um, and the second thing is, in the back of my mind right now, is, is I'm, I'm thinking about going up to another weight class going up north a little bit and uh, heading to 154 and possibly testing the, the waters there against uh, some of the great fighters at 154 pounds. Anybody in mind? Uh, lot, just just know that it, you're going to be a lot smaller, okay. not the big ones, yeah. the smaller uh, junior middleweights. You know, there's a guy who pays attention to everything I do. He lives right down the street. He's probably watching now. His name is Floyd Mayweather. Any message to him? No, no message to Floyd. What's up, Floyd? How you doing, man? No <laughs> doubt. I hope you're enjoying your life, man. That's what you're supposed to do. No, nah, no message to Floyd Mayweather, man. Uh, Floyd Mayweather's a good dude. Uh, he's in his own lane, and I, you know, I got no, no disrespect for anything to say to Floyd. He, hey, live your life, man. All right, finally, look into that camera. And without, you're not going to give away your game plan, but tell the folks what they can expect on HBO against Chavez Saturday night. Well, um, you see me brawl, you see me box, you see me do it all. Um, you're going to have to tune in and see what I'm going to do Saturday night. We know that uh, I know I, I got a warrior spirit, man. I love the fight. So let's see if uh, Chavez can bring it out of me. Best of luck. Thank you very much.